YouTube, it's Tiki Trinkets here, and today I have for you another polymer clay tutorial. Today we're going to make a unicorn hot chocolate charm. Now, I didn't add an eye screw to this or an eye pin to this, but you can to make it into a pendant or whatever you'd like. Put it on a bracelet, necklace, etc. But I made it just like it is, just a sculpture, because I also made this, but this is not in the tutorial. This is my unicorn hot chocolate inspired bunny, and he's going to be, well, she, I guess it's a she. I made it pink and sparkly. Or either it's just a male bunny that really likes pink. Either way, it's kind of hard to do this, but I'm going to glue, <laughs> I'm going to glue the cup, I'm like dropping the hot chocolate, onto the bunny, and she's going to be looking down at it, as you can see, and she's, it's just going to look like she's kind of like drinking it. And as you can see, she has straws and a unicorn horn. But she's not in the tutorial, like I said. But that's just an idea. You can make the you can make a charm holding the hot chocolate, or you can make it into a pendant or a necklace or whatever. All right, now let's get into the tutorial. I hope you all enjoy this. Bye bye. For this tutorial, you're going to need the following clay colors. First, you're going to take the white packer clay and you're going to roll out three balls, one small, one medium sized, and one extra small is what I'm going to call it. They're very, very small. They're all smaller than one inch. First, you're going to take the largest one and you're going to take a large ball dotting tool and you're going to press down in the center of the ball, like so. And then using your fingers, push the edges of it around the ball shape to make it into a cup shape, like you can see here. Next, you're just going to cut off the excess to make it a flat rim on the top so it'll look more like a cup like I've done here. Then you can just remove the ball from the inside like I've done here. And you can just kind of smooth the rim out with your fingers to make it more even. As you can see in this picture right here, this is where I've just smoothed the clay out. Next, you're going to take the next ball of clay and you're going to roll this you're going to roll this ball out because we're making a plate to go under the cup. Just use whatever you have on hand to roll. I always use my X-Acto knife as y'all know by now. Then using the large ball dotting tool you're going to indent in the center of the plate to kind of create depth on the plate. As you can see here. It's kind of hard to see though but there is an indention and the cup fits perfectly inside of it like I showed right here. Make sure the cup fits in it. Don't just guess that it will. Make sure it fits. But we're going to bake it like this anyway, so it's fine. Now we're going to take the last ball of clay, and we're going to roll this out into a thin snake, like I've done here. Next, you're just going to flatten this out with your X-Acto knife. Sorry for the blurriness on this picture. And after you flatten it out, this is what it's going to look like. This is a more clear picture, so it's easier to see. Then just cut off the rounded tips to make it flat on both ends, like so. Or even on both ends. If this is too much, like this was a little bit too much, just cut it in half. Then you're just going to fold it, making a T-shape on the side of the cup. Make sure you blend that to the side of the cup as well. Here's an aerial view. Now you're just going to take your cotton swabs and your rubbing alcohol and you're going to go ahead and clean this. You don't need to clean the inside of the cup because we're going to be filling it up anyways. Just clean the bottom and the outside. After I cleaned it, this is what it looked like. The inside again still looks dirty, but I didn't need to clean it. Now you're going to take paint, acrylic paint. I recommend mixing white with this because this was way too dark. It looks perfect here, but it dries way darker, so make sure you mix white or test it out by doing like a, you know, like how you test out makeup by splotching it on your hand. Yeah. Then you're just going to take a dotting tool and you're going to run it down the side of the cup like I've done so to make it look like it's dripping over because, you know, in all the Instagram photos, that's how it looks. <laughs> Next, you're going to take one more ball of white clay. We're making the straws now, so... You're going to roll that out really super thin. Then you're going to take the blue and the pink to create the swirls and the straws. You're going to roll out two more small balls of this, one of each. The pink was a little too large, but you know we're going to trim the excess. And roll it out just as thin as long as the white, as I've done like right here. Then I just cut the white 
in this photo right here. I just cut all the white, blue, and pink in half, like I said before. Next, I cut them and made them all about the same size, made them a little bit smaller than I had them before. And now you just go ahead and take them and twist them together. Just twist the white with the pink and then just roll it against the surface gently to make it even. Then you just cut off the excess like I've done here. And then you're just going to stick this right down in the paint. The paint is so thick it should fit in there perfectly. Make sure you don't put too much paint or it will actually overflow and you don't want that. Okay, now we're going to take light pastel purple and green. Although I do recommend a lighter green or mixing white with it. Now we're going to roll out two small lines on this. And you're going to cut these into little tiny pieces. These are going to be your marshmallows. Again, I recommend a way lighter green for this too. But you know, this was something I'm not familiar with doing all the time. Alright, just plop those right on top. And now all we need is the sprinkles for the sprinkles. I went lazy and just used teeny tiny glass beads that I had. Glass beads are fine to bake in the oven. And I just sprinkled those on top. And then you bake it. And that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this.